So here we go to get this F1 2017 career mode underway with Ferrari. What will happen? And the lights are out now and away we go. A safety car there. So surprisingly, there's been a safety car on lap 6. I don't know why it's not a VSC. And we've actually took advantage of that. We could come out in a reasonable position here and possibly actually be leading this Grand Prix. Into the first corner we go. Can we go around the outside? Yes, we can. Here we go on the Kevin Magnussen, surely not around the outside of this corner, and we have just done it. This is our chance to actual pull away now. Bottas, Vettel, Ricardo, everyone's in the pits, but it's going to be absolute chaos. Go, this is going to be tight. Oh, Bottas just ahead of Ricardo Hamilton. Going to try and go around the outside of Lance Stroll, surely not. Yes, he does. Vettel can make it three wide. He thinks about it, but he doesn't want to risk it just in case there's any damage. But Vettel follows Bottas through. We have got a safe, well not a safety car, but a VSC. We're heading to the next corner, can he get the move done? Surely this time Lewis Hamilton can get it done because he knows Bottas is much faster on the super soft tyres, swoops round the outside. We come across the line and we have won the first round of the season, unbelievable. We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. What's up guys, the Cruise 51 today. We are back for a brand new video. We are back for part two of our F1 2017 career mode. You've just seen what's happened in the previous video. I'm going to be doing that at the start of every career mode video now. Um, so if you guys missed the, the previous race, you know, you've caught up on it already because I just show you the little bit of the highlights. Um, so as you can see, the, um, the race back then in Australia was really exciting because we won the race. It was a really intense Grand Prix. As you could tell, there was much more highlights than that, but I've just done really the best bits. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was a really exciting race, and as I said, if you want to watch the full thing, you've missed it, just go back and watch it now. I'll leave the card at the top of the screen. Um, so now um, we're going to move on to the actual qualifying session here in China. So the car itself felt really fine to drive, obviously we've got some tricky corners as we started a lap, struggling at a couple, it was mostly this sector, um, sector 2 we struggled at, um, this first sector was quite good and then as we came to the end of our flying lap, we were flying first lap, we would go P4 but still a second of Bottas which is really, really surprising actually because I felt like the car was much faster, um, but as we got into the end of qualifying now, with only about 40 odd seconds to go, and we were landing in, well, we were sitting in P5, and we were stopping putting a faster time than us, and it was a real struggle and a real um, fight to try and get track position because it was honestly the, the cars everywhere, just like everywhere you could see, there was just cars separated by a second. Not no room at all to get a clean lap, but when we finally did get a clean lap and we crossed the line with 10 seconds to go, or half a second up on a lap, we would go P4, so we'd qualify P4 for the race, but still a second off, and that's our teammate. So Vettel, a second faster than us, this is going to be a quite interesting Chinese Grand Prix, I'm looking forward to it. What will the race be? Boring, exciting, or just average? Well, let's find out right now. So it's race day here in China, overcast conditions um, and it's looking, I don't know, it could rain, it could possibly rain and um, yeah, all the drivers getting ready for the start of this Chinese Grand Prix. I'm looking forward to it once again, we're just, I don't know what race this could be, could we see a thriller, well, a thriller like Australia, we'll never know. Um, I'm actually stopping getting ready there and um, while all that's going on, now I'm going to hand you over to David Croft who once again is going to go through the grid order. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton and a Ferrari, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Massa, Grosjean, Hülkenberg and Lance Stroll, Perez, Sainz, Esteban Ocon and Kvyat, Magnussen, Alonso, Jolien Palmer and Stoffel van Dorn, Verlein and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. 
Thank you, David Croft, for that once again. So now the formation lap is underway here in China. The weather seems to be not um, rainy conditions later on in the race. It seems to be just about overcast day and maybe going to clear up by the end of the race. Just sunny conditions. We'll find out. So when we're going through the formation lap here, everything seems okay with the car. Um, getting all the tyres heated up for the, the start of this Grand Prix. And then um, as we now take our grid slot, we're just going to wait for other cars to take their grid slot. And as you can see now, we've got a good view of all the cars um, coming in there. It's actually quite a good camera angle there. I kind of like that. Um, quite a realistic one too. So we're just waiting on the final few cars taking their grid slot and we'll get this Chinese Grand Prix underway. This is going to be really exciting, guys. Um, so what will happen when the lights go off here in China? As you can see now, the lights are coming on as we had the five red lights. What will happen here in China? And it's lights out and away we go. It's been a good start from Vettel. Good start from us as well. We've had the best start out of the top, best start of the top four already. We tried to challenge Bottas at the first corner. We couldn't quite get him there. But we've got ahead of Hamilton. And Verstappen's jumped him. Um, Lewis Hamilton too, I think. Or they two are battling behind, as you can see. The, the graphic um, board at the side. And you can see now Vettel's leading from Valtteri Bottas. Hamilton's got back ahead of Verstappen, who was fine away there. Verstappen really using his... Um, amazing driving skills there. He, he normally does all the time as he's shown this year at the Chinese Grand Prix in the wet conditions. He tried to get Hamilton but couldn't get um, enough power out the corner so you see that Renault engine not doing enough. Um, but I won't um, just keep my head um, in Max Verstappen. But now, as we come through into the end of the straight, Bottas challenging Vettel into the next corner we go. He tries to make a move, but he's close enough. But Bottas seems to be the man on the mission once again. He's been on the man of the mission the first round of the season, and he was trying to do it this um, round as well. But as a couple laps fell um, onto the third lap of the Grand Prix, Sebastian Vettel started to streak away from Bottas just to close enough. And we're challenging him now as we make a brilliant move round the outside we're going side by side with Bottas as wheel to wheel racing with the Mercedes driver the flying fan not anymore we've just flew past him there and we, it's a Ferrari 1-2 in China this is exactly what we need but it's not exactly what we need there because we just ran wide and Bottas could get a good run down the straight because we all know how good that Mercedes engine is and now it's Lewis Hamilton is taking advantage of his teammates uh, his teammates mistake there and now he's going to go around the outside surely not Hamilton with another brilliant move this season absolutely class driving from Lewis Hamilton and he's put himself up into the podium places and now as we skip to lap 4 a lap later he's challenging us now for um, P2 He's going to try and um, separate the two Ferraris here. He's going to try and get in the mix. Hamilton down the inside. He's made the move, has Lewis Hamilton. But now we're going to try and make him um, come back on him here. We're going side by side into the final corner. He gets ahead. But we are now into the slipstream of him. Wheel to wheel racing we go. I've got DRS. Hamilton has got DRS. We're banging tyres into the first corner we go. Who will lead into the next car? Well, who will get ahead of the cars? And it's now us. We've just took P2 back. Unbelievable. Um, I was about losing my voice there when I was trying to say that. I'm getting so hyped and I was ending up saying we're taking the lead, but we managed to get our position back there, which is um, very good. Um, but Vettel's starting to streak off to the distance. But now, as we head on to lap six, it's Kevin Magnussen who's just retired from the Grand Prix, which has actually cost a safety car. And you know what that means again, guys? This is scenes from Australia. We are witnessing scenes from Australia last time out. Two times in a row this has happened. Once again, obviously not the 1.9 or 10 update because this was recorded ages ago. And we have just pitied to put on a set of the soft compound tyres. We probably might go to the end. And the leaders haven't pitied. The leaders have missed out on making a crucial pit stop. And if we had done exactly what we have done in China, uh, not in Australia, and we could lead this Grand Prix once again. So Vettel, the one who was had a good gap to us at the start, and Hamilton, um, me and Hamilton were actually pulling away. But, well, Hamilton and me were actually losing a lot of time, so that was not going to help our day. So Vettel was leading massively, and now, as you can see, the restart is heading. Uh, well, just about to start now, and you can see there is us just in the background heating our tyres up. Look at this. Look how close all the cars are. So now Vettel and Hamilton are going to have to do something about this to try and make up for it. They might do a different strategy, but now we're racing here in China once again. Vettel leads them. Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, and Daniel Ricciardo, and then Felipe Massa, I believe, is the top five. So as we come to the final corner now, Vettel leads the Grand Prix, but how long will he manage to hold that lead on for when he makes his pit stop? But now, the restart is underway and we are right into the slipstream with Daniel Kvyat. We might make a move into the first corner if we dare. We're too far behind. 
Yes, we're heading to the first corner now. We've got a bro look at the tire grip we've had. We're going to go for the move down the inside of Danny Cavia, and he's went wide a little bit. He's touched the grass and he's lost the rear end. Danny Cavia, it went to the grass there, well onto the grass there, and he's stopped the car. So I don't know what's happened there. Can the has he got going? I don't, I believe not, but he's probably just waiting for another couple of cars to go past. And then we've had Julian Palmer. No, we're not, not for long. Down the inside of Julian Palmer we go. What a dive that was. We came from so far back, but we know what we need to do to try and get this Grand Prix um, lead back into us. And now look how close we are to the um, gearbox of Carlos Sainz. We go down the inside of Sainz, make a move on Ocon as well. Is it a double overtake? Surely not. Yes, it is. We've just made a double overtake. And now... Um, I believe this is going to be where everyone starts to pit. Yes, it is. Sebastian Bell is now into the pits, followed by Lewis Hamilton and many other drivers behind. Um, I believe that is Max Verstappen. Yes, it is. So Daniel Cado has stayed out. And look at that. That will not help Vettel. And he's been jumped by Hamilton. So Vettel, look how long the drivers have been held for. So once again... Our call to part of the safety car has paid off, and look at this, just like Australia, Grosjean is getting held up massively, but look at this, unbelievable, he's got held up even more than he did in Australia, so it's, it's basically the same scenes as we're witnessing in Australia, if you did watch the last video, so if you didn't, make sure you will, because you will know what I'm talking about, and it's just unbelievable, I can't believe this is so a similar race to Australia, and now, as we're on to lap 10 of this Grand Prix, um, the, our race is starting to come underway a little bit now because as Bottas has stayed out, we've managed to catch him. So he's stayed out, Valtteri Bottas. Obviously he's going to be losing time because he's on the Warren Super Softs and he had to stay out because he was quite close to Hamilton anyway. And we've passed him. We've just flew past him on the soft tyres. And now we're going to try and get Stroll, but he comes into the pits. And I believe the, um, that's Ricardo into the pits as well. Yes, it is. So we are now, crucially leading the Chinese Grand Prix by how much I'm not quite sure yet we have to see when everyone pits we could have a massive advantage um, that would be m absolutely brilliant so still the same from Australia I can't believe we're actually witnessing, it, witnessing, well, witnessing this right here once again uh, this is actually unbelievable guys what a season it's turned out to be but oh this two force Indias collide there into the first corner no difference to see that happening but Oh my god, so Perez and Ocon collide again, Perez the one who's actually landed out of this race and that caused a VSC, um, no surprise there, um, I'm surprised it wasn't a safety, safety car, I'm kind of glad it wasn't a safety car actually because it would have um, took our massive advantage at the front away but luckily we can keep that with the VSC. Um, so we're racing once again um, in China and I believe Sainz is in second and Palmer's third but they've still got to pit I believe or I think they started on super, uh, I think they started on the um, softs, so I think they're going to go to the super softs at the end. I'm sure that's what they'll do. Depends on how long they can take them. So now we skip later on into the Grand Prix um, where everything starts to calm down. And now this is Nico Hulkenberg just coming out of the pits. To, uh, he's just made his second pit stop, and he gets pulled back out of the pits and stopped onto the track and loses a couple settings. What a weird glitch that was. Um, and that's really unusual to see that actually but now we skip later on again and this is Roman Grosjean the second Haas retiring from the Grand Prix with engine problems again so two Haas out with engine problems Grosjean out of the race, Magnussen out of the race and now we cut back live on board to us yeah this is lap 20 and Lewis Hamilton um, I don't like, think you actually believe this I, I didn't really want to show you this because it kind of be a waste of you guys time um, but basically we've had about a 12 second gap to Hamilton and well I think about or in seconds and he's absolutely demolished the lead there and he's cut it down to two seconds and on the same lap there or the lap later just a little bit on he's came on um, he's just came into the pits for the super soft tyres and he's trying to get the undercut here so we thought this is going to be an easy race once again for us it seems not to be because look even I believe that's Daniel Ricciardo yes it is he's, he's came into the pits as well so Verstappen, or Ricardo, should I say, and Hamilton try to get the undercut on us. There we are, they're flying through the next left hander, and we've got to put in some hell of a lap now because now as we come into the pits, um, we could possibly get jumped from Lewis Hamilton here. And if that happens, that will honestly 
be a real race ruiner for us because we thought this race is going to be so easy um, for us but it turns out not to be because look there's Lewis Hamilton come through the corner there this is going to be really tight actually because now we set on this, um, we put on a, um, the tyres and it's a super soft tyres um, going to a Ferrari car there so as you can see we're coming down the pits there there is Lewis Hamilton in the back he's on to the straight we're going to go on board with him now look how close it is onto the pits first corner we just get ahead of Lewis Hamilton that was so tight with um, Hamilton there but now it's going to be even tighter because we've went run wide and now Hamilton is going to be trying to fight for the lead here unbelievable I was not expecting this we've got a race on our hands with about seven laps remaining and now Hamilton's into the slipstream, we might have to go defensive here, we do, but we managed to defend the position perfectly there, but it's not going to be easy for us in these seven or six remaining laps, this is going to be unbelievable this fight, and possibly Ricardo can get involved as well, um, this could be really interesting with how many laps to go, so we're on to lap 22 now, we're on to the main straight, and then Lewis Hamilton's into the slipstream, as he's going to go for his first attack here, end of the straight, he's going to try go around the outside, surely not, yes he does, but he tries, but he just couldn't get it done. Um, couldn't get it done there. We managed to just, we managed to defend the position, and we are now still in the lead. But now as we skip later on to lap 23, um, it looks like it's going to be round two with Lewis Hamilton because here we go again. Hamilton to the slip team. He gets a bit closer. Look how fast he gains on us at the end of the straight. We are forced to go defensive again. Hamilton round the outside. He locks up. We lock up a little bit, and it's just the same as it was last lap. We've still kept the lead of the Grand Prix. Hamilton not them um, going for any more attacks rather than that main straight. Um, even if he were to make a little mistake on that straight, there he could still go for it. But now, so skip later on to about a couple laps later, the last lap, Hamilton actually never had a chance to go for it. He was a bit too far back. He managed to get a decent gap. Um, but this lap he's much much closer and we've got yellow flags there, I believe that was for Felipe Massa who's retired from the Grand Prix as well, so quite a lot of retirements in this race as well, quite surprising, so um, we come through into this slow left and right hand dart and this is honestly where the tyres just absolutely get killed at this corner, got to be so smooth on the wheel and now Hamilton looks closer than he has ever been before, he's not got DRS yet but he will do now, onto the straight we go, we're going to the left, we're going to the right, Hamilton might go to the inside, yes he does, Hamilton's into the inside line this time, we're going to try and force him to the other side of the track, Hamilton leads into the next corner but we get a brilliant exit out the um, corner there and go round the outside and we're still into the lead of this Grand Prix here in China, unbelievable, this is a brilliant duo Hamilton, as you can see he made a little mistake there um, on that lap and that managed to give us extra breathing space on that previous lap but not this lap now because we're on to lap 27 and we've got yellow flags at the first corner, we almost lose it there, see how close that was and is that, is that a Renault by any chance? I think that's Julian Palmer, so Julian Palmer out of the Grand Prix, so more retirements here in China um, but yeah we've only a lap to go here um, after this lap, we're on to lap 27, we're coming to the end of it now as you can see we've made a massive mistake into the corner and that's gave Hamilton a massive chance onto this main straight. Will he launch his another attack again? Because as you can see, if you've noticed in third position, it's Sebastian Bell. He's managed to get past Ricardo there. Hamilton, here we go then. Once again, it's going to be around round four. I can't mind. Round four or five. Into the next corner we go. Hamilton looks closer than he's ever been before. Once again, he tries to go around the outside. He almost gets a better cut back than us and tries to go for the attack into the final corner. But now, we're probably going to go on board with us for this entire last remaining lap of the Chinese Grand Prix. So as we start the final lap here, who will be the victor? As you can see, Hamilton's actually trying to go for attacking at the first corner here. He gets ever close to us, but can't get the move done. And it's going to be really tight, because what we're going to try and do now is some corners, we're going to try and back Hamilton into Vettel and see if Vettel can launch an attack on Hamilton and see if he can get a Ferrari 1-2. As you can see, we're going so slow through the corners, because it could work. I'm not saying it will, but you just never know because we've seen Hamilton do it to Rosberg in Abu Dhabi 2016 and Vettel almost got um, Rosberg for P2. But yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. As you can see, Vettel is so close to Hamilton. Um, Vettel was absolutely flying here. He's also been on a charge. He might have caught us even though if I never backed Hamilton into him. But as you can see, we're going so slow around some of the corners. We can't go that slow round into the next sector now um, after these couple corners because Hamilton would get a brilliant run onto the straight. So if we try to back him up a little bit here into this left hander, it was a little bit slow. And then what we try and do is get a brilliant exit like what we have now and try and get away from Hamilton onto the straight and block the slipstream. Vettel could still have a chance of getting P3. He's all over the back of Hamilton. This could be Vettel's chance here. We block the slipstream onto the straight. Hamilton's going to try and come across the track. 
to get the slipstream. Vettel is now looking to try and get past Hamilton. He's looking closer. He's getting closer. Can he get the move done into the end of the straight? Um, I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. We've got yellow flags at the first corner, so I've no idea who that's for. But it's coming to the race anyway, and I, th st I still think Hamilton's going to keep this P2. Yes, he was, but what an end it is to the Chinese Grand Prix. We've won the second race of the championship again. Unbelievable. We've won two races so far this season. I was not expecting this. Two races of absolute luck. Absolutely brilliant. I haven't, I haven't joined this season. This is absolutely brilliant. Um, please hit that like button, guys. Can we get another 100 likes? We absolutely smashed it last time. I think we smashed it in at least the first couple hours when the video was released. So if we can do that again, that will be fantastic. Um, but yeah, there's Carlos Sainz there, P7. But what a race that was once again. I was not expecting the Chinese Grand Prix to be actually quite good. But the last seven laps were absolutely phenomenal. Especially these last couple laps of Vettel trying to get Hamilton and Hamilton trying to take the lead. But there we go, guys. Victor once again this season. And we'll extend our championship lead there. This gives us early advantage um, in the championship. We might need it at the end of the season. We'll never know. Um, but yeah, there's us there from Hamilton and Vettel. But as I said before, what a race that has been. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, as you can see, look at that. The top three covered under a second. That is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, Bottas actually got past Ricardo as well, which is... Um, surprising as well as you can see um, there was five retirements which only means 15 cars finished but originally 14 cars finished if Mark Erickson wasn't lapped so 14 cars actually finished the full um, race distance there um, but once again um, thank you guys so much for watching this video the support on the last video has been absolutely amazing if you can get the same on this video that would be fantastic um, part 3 should be out tomorrow or maybe later today I don't know when it will be out but it will probably mostly be tomorrow but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video leaving a like subscribe to the channel as well and yeah i'll see you next time <laughs>